हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सो डॉक्टर संजीत कुमार टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ब्रेन स्टेम डेथ डिफिनेशन तो ब्रेन स्टेम डेथ इज ए कंडीशन इन विच द पेशेंट इज इ रिवर्सिबली अनकॉन्सियस एंड इ रिवर्सिबली एपनिक स्टेट ड्यू टू ब्रेन स्टेम डैमेज टाइप्स ऑफ ब्रेन डेथ तो फर्स्ट कॉर्टिकल और सेबरल डेथ फीचर्स ब्रेन स्टेम इज इंटैक्ट द पेशेंट इज इन वेजिटेटिव स्टेट रेस्पायरेशन कंटिन्यू बट द टोटल लॉस ऑफ पावर ऑफ परसेप्शन बाय द सेंसेस सीन इन सेबरल हाइपोक्सिया टॉक्सिक कंडीशन एंड वाइड स्प्रेड ब्रेन इंजरी सेकेंड इज द ब्रेन स्टेम डेथ द फीचर ऑफ ब्रेन स्टेम डेथ इज सेबरम इज इंटैक्ट brain stem is damaged loss of vital center that control respiration and ascending reticular activating system that sustain consciousness leads to irreversible coma and incapable of spontaneous breathing seen in raised intracranial pressure cerebral edema and the intracranial hemorrhage थर्ड वन इज होल ब्रेन डेथ होल ब्रेन डेथ इज द परमानेंट सीजेशन ऑफ फंक्शन ऑफ सेरेब्रम सेरेबेलम एंड द ब्रेन स्टेम देन फंक्शन ऑफ ब्रेन स्टेम फॉर फुल कॉन्शियसनेस लीजन लिस्ट टू कोमा फॉर मेंटेनेंस ऑफ ब्लड प्रेशर फॉर रिस्पायरेटरी ड्राइव ऑल मोटर आउटपुट फ्रॉम द ब्रेन ट्रेवल थ्रू द ब्रेन स्टेम ऑल मोटर आउटपुट ऑल द सेंसरी ट्रैफिक कमिंग इन to the brain arrives through the brain stem or the sensory traffic and the brain stem also mediate the cranial nerve reflex diagnosis of brain stem death to first is the british code or harvard criteria unreceptivity and unresponsivity no movement for at least 1 hour apnea for at least 1 hour absence of reflexes then irreversible coma people are fixed and dilated and do not respond to direct source of light and isolectic eeg confirmatory test all these tests should be repeated after 24 hour with no change this is very important harvard criteria the pre conditions for harvard criteria patient must be in coma patient must be maintained on ventilator cause of coma must be known there should be irreversible structural damage to the brain making the patient unresponsive and comatose then exclusion criteria before the certification of brain stem death to so, hypothermia low temperature less than 35 degree centigrade coma due to drug either by therapeutic or overdose metabolic cause of coma and endocrine cause of coma should be ruled out these are the exclusion criteria then test for brain stem death to so brain stem reflex and apnea test second is the philadelphia criteria no responsiveness to stimuli either from external or internal environment no spontaneous breathing for 3 minute no muscular movement absent reflex falling of arterial pressure without stopping of medicine isoelectric eeg flat eeg all these test must be repeated after 2 hour philadelphia criteria is important then third minnesota criteria no spontaneous movement no spontaneous breathing for 4 minute absence of five major brain stem reflex eeg is not mandatory in minnesota criteria a spinal reflex is not important all these tests should be repeated after 12 hour five major brain stem reflex are the pupillary reflex corneal reflex grimace reflex vestibulo ocular reflex and the gag reflex then fourth mohan das and chow brain stem is important part of brain because of all the vital centers of the body in the brain stem all the cortical pathway pass through the trunk and the limbs medullary cell more resistant to anoxia brain stem die in 5 minute 
in complete absence of oxygen. Then difference between Harvard criteria, Philadelphia criteria and Minnesota criteria. Basic, to Harvard criteria ke liye brain stem, Philadelphia ke liye brain stem, but Minnesota ke liye brain stem death. E EEG, Harvard criteria EEG mandatory, Philadelphia criteria is also mandatory and in Minnesota criteria not mandatory. Duration of testing res respiration, Harvard criteria 3 minute, Philadelphia criteria 3 minute, Minnesota criteria 4 minute. A spinal reflex in Harvard criteria this is important, Philadelphia criteria it is also important, Minnesota not important. Arterial pressure falling continuously without support by drugs or other means, no specific requirement in Harvard criteria, in Philadelphia required and Minnesota no specific requirement. The repetition of test, Harvard criteria 24 hour, Philadelphia after 2, two hours and Minnesota after 12 hours. Respirator during intervening period of two tests can be put back on in, in, in Harvard criteria. Philadelphia must be put off and Minnesota can be put back on. Organ retrieval possible in Harvard criteria and also possible in Minnesota criteria, but Philadelphia criteria is not possible. Who can pronounce death? No specific recommendation for Harvard criteria. Two physicians other than physician of the potential organ recipient. And no specific recommendation also in the Minnesota criteria. So these are the difference of Harvard criteria, Philadelphia criteria and Minnesota criteria. Okay. Then brain stem death declaration team. The doctor who treating the patient, the doctor who is in charge of the hospital, neurologist, intensivist, anesthetist, independent medical specialist. These are the declaration team. Person who should perform the test must be performed by the two medical practitioner. Doctor involved should be expert in this field. At least one of the doctor should be of consultant status. GR is not permitted to perform this test. Each doctor should perform the test, this test twice. Then test for brain stem death, brain stem reflex and apnea test. Test for brain stem function, first pupillary reflex, afferent is second cranial nerve and efferent is third cranial nerve. This is a pupillary reflex in dark, this is pupil dilated and the bright, this is constricted pupil. Then corneal reflex, afferent is fifth cranial nerve and efferent is seventh cranial nerve. This is corneal reflex. Grimace reflex, afferent is fifth cranial nerve and the efferent is seventh cranial nerve. Procedure, deep pressure apply over the nail bed, supravitary, temporomandibular joint, Contracted ugly facial expression, this is called grimace. Vestibulo ocular reflex or caloric test, afferent is 8th cranial nerve and the afferent is 3rd and 6th cranial nerve. Procedure elevate head by 30 degree, pour cold water in ear canal, eye moves in opposite side. Elevate head by 30 degree, pour warm water in ear canal, eye move toward same side. Pneumonic is cow. Cold water, opposite side. Warm water, same side. Gag reflex or cuff reflex. Afferent is 9th cranial nerve and the afferent is 10th cranial nerve. So, gag reflex. Doll's eye reflex or oculocephalic reflex. Afferent is 8th cranial nerve and the afferent is 3rd and 6th cranial nerve. Procedure Elevate head by 30 degree. Turn head 90 degree on both sides, eye moves relative to orbit, absent in brain stem death. This is occlusophilic reflex or doll's eye reflex. Head to left, eye move to right. In the normal position, central position, head move to right, eye move to left. Apnea test, the aim of the test to prove the patient is incapable of spontaneous breathing and the brain stem is completely damaged to trigger the respiration. This is the aim for apneic test. Method 100% oxygen is given 
for 10 minutes followed by 95 percent oxygen and 5 percent carbon dioxide. Since the brain stem is triggered more by increased level of carbon dioxide rather than reduced oxygen level, the ventilator is disconnected. If there are any cells alive in the brain stem, then the patient will breathe spontaneously. This is apneic test. Death, then certification of brain stem death. When the two doctors have performed this test twice with negative result, the patient is pronounced dead and the death certificate can be issued. Then certificate of brain stem death. This is the brain death assessment form. And this is brain stem death certificate. This is all about brain stem death. Okay, this is very important. Okay, thank you for watching.